Welcome back everybody, you have successfully turned the video around to side B. We will continue with more first impressions of the games included in this month's Humble Choice. Not sure what's going on? Then check out side A first. And otherwise, let's go! This unsponsored bit of content is brought to you by Robic's Cube. Oh, she's coming with us? No, she's not coming with us. Sorry about that. Bye. This is Amnesia Rebirth, the third installment of the Amnesia series, the second one made by Frictional Games, the original developer of the first one. I very much enjoyed Amnesia The Dark Descent, so I'm very curious what they did with this one. It already looks very different. Very alien-like loading screen, interesting. So let's see what they did with this horror survival title this time. You do what you must to survive. Good voice acting, very nice. We all know what's gonna happen now. The plane is gonna crash and it's all gonna be horrible one way or another, right? And we're in Africa, very nice. Oh, there we go, there we go. I, I told you guys. What the hell? What just happened? That explains the alien-like loading screen, right? Jesus. Wow, that is wicked. Oh, that is not good. Okay, visions. We're getting visions. Okay, I am Tazzy, and I'm assuming we have amnesia, hence the title of the game. What's going on with us? I'm struggling. I am struggling like struggle man would struggle. Um, well, that's the start of this story, right? It's broken, but I've got an inventory, and I can use it. Oh, there we go. Oh, that went really smooth. We're in the middle of the desert. That's not positive at all. Where is everybody? That is the best question I've got. Oh, I recognize this sound from the other games. Oh, no. Oh, gotta get to, like, gotta get into the shadow. Ah, that's different. Okay. Great memories. Controls are pretty much the same. We can grab stuff. That's nice. And we clearly do not remember anything. Why was she alone? on the plane, right? It's immediately mysterious and I like it a lot. Oh, whoa, stuff. <gasps> a cave. Apparently we're a mother and we're looking for Salim, who apparently is the dad of this kid. So we're slowly uncovering what's going on in this game by finding notes and stuff. And then we also get memories and matches. There is light there. That's positive. Check this wicked fire. Ooh, Ooh the faster you walk, the faster the match will go out. Staying in the dark without light source will increase your fear. Oh no. Yeah, a lantern would be absolutely smashing. Oh no. Oh freaking no. Okay. Because it is dark in this cave. Jesus. Oh my god. No. No. I am not. Ooh. Okay. That is dangerous. Very dangerous. Okay. Whoa. Another one of these bridges. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh frick no. Oh no. 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 This is not good. Oh my lord. What is going on? Is there... There's light here. So let's go there, right? Oh my no. Well, I... Am I dead? Well, this is where the horror comes in, right? Jesus. Someone's been here. Hello? That, I, how is it Anyone? positive? Shh. Uh, do you not see that giant thing in the, the black thing? What? Okay, we shouldn't let our what fear rise too high, but at the same time, we don't really know anything about the... What the hell? Oh, it actually does something. Should we bring out the amulet? What the hell? Okay, we can open portals. That is something we can do. Are we like in another world now? Are we like world hopping? Oh man, we are in that weird ass world we saw on the plane, man. What is happening? What kind of HP Lovecraft Cthulhu stuff is this? So it is somewhat similar to the previous games where we are uncovering this story slowly but surely, reading about it, listening about it, and slowly, slowly finding all the pieces of this puzzle. I have to crouch to be less noisy see what is out there what do you mean what i can't see anything are we ever going to find our way out of here oh no does that move did it move did you move oh my lord i'm just gonna run just run for it just run for it i don't know what that is i don't know what it is i'm just gonna run for it run 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 what oh my god this is great this is weird and it's awesome man we're at their house this is so weird what the actual hell is happening right now what 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 is this what is this what baby giant baby in the sky this is just a casual fever dream that she's having that's that i mean i have them as well okay that's it the rest of the mystery you can solve for yourself you this is great wow we're outside again oh man this is something awesome if you don't mind horror i can only recommend this this is amazing gameplay is smooth everything is great yes absolutely yes i don't want to spoil more of the story so you will have to uncover the mystery for yourself but this is amazing this is really 
really, really good. It's mysterious. It's creepy. I like it a lot. Next, this is Guts and Glory. And for the people who know it, it's like Happy Wheels, but in 3D. So we choose a vehicle and then we try to go through like an obstacle course thing, race situation. Hey, is this clickable? Oh my, okay. Okay, I'm super sorry about that. Let's just quickly play, shall we? Pleasant day in the park. Ooh, we can choose a vehicle. Jetpack. Let's just start with the bicycle kid situation. Oh, there we go. There we go. And we're up. And we're off. Look at us. Off to the races. This is really easy. This is nice. There we go. Yay! Winners never quit. That was really easy. Oh my god, is that kid okay? I mean, it doesn't look very okay. Is there like a turbo option or something? And this is really... I'm going really slow. Oh my lord, what? Oh no. I jumped off my bicycle? That's an option? Can I stand back up? Can I get back on my bicycle, please? All right. Oh my lord. Okay. So yeah, the game just has different levels for you to play. And they're all like these silly little scenarios. It also has a bunch of community-made maps. You can make your own maps in the game as well. Oh my lord, look at us. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, well, I that was not what I had in mind. Kidding me? Go to the freaking end already. Hello, Mr. Sir. Man, I don't feel responsible for you right now. There isn't really a story going on or anything. It literally is just a sandbox situation where you can choose different vehicles. And then you just go and potentially drive these people over in a very gruesome oh she's coming with us no she's not coming with us sorry about that bye no my kid i'm gonna lose my kids oh my god cannons cannons okay i lost my kid that's okay no the checkpoint i'm sorry wife but your weight is slowing me down i need to eject you from the car sorry about that what happens if you just go out of the map like <gasps> okay it's just the end of the world okay bye so yeah in essence this game is just absolute freaking silliness all the silliness you can think of I lost my little sister there. Definitely, definitely just silly. Why would I expect something normal? Apparently, we don't have to even have to drive this thing. It will just drive itself. That is something special, isn't it? This game is just a silly, gory simulation of weird <coughs> racing stuff. This is something weird for sure. Oh, God. Well, <laughs> let's go. This is 112 Operator, a simulation game where we are an operator of the emergency hotline and have to manage different emergency services. This is a direct sequel to 911 Operator, which is a game that I've actually played, not finished, but very much enjoyed nonetheless. This game comes with a campaign, some scenarios, and a free game, which sounds like a sandbox type of thing. So let's dive into some of this campaign, shall we? Oh, hi. You came to the right place. Okay. Welcome to the Emergency Management Center. And this European this Emergency is Center all is all work. managed by Americans for some Here. reason. Uh, okay, that makes sense. So this is our map. The police is blue, the fire department is red, and the ambulances are white. Okay. Incidents. Medical assistance is needed, so I think we need to send an ambulance. What do you think? There we go. How's that going on? Interesting. You can zoom in super far. That looks funny. Yo, you, police. Go. Go, 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 go. An emergency call. What's your emergency? Hello? Excuse me? A bomb? Oh yeah, they don't actually say the place. That would be expensive, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm there. I'm there. I'll I'm send the police. the police. Please stay calm. Uh, okay. Let's go. Unconscious oh, person. Bad. Medical assistance needed. Let's go. Run. You go back to base. You go check out this unclaimed bomb threat that we got going on. They're searching the bomb. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's pretty cool. So if you click on it, you can see what's going on. Oh, new call. Let's go. What's your emergency? Hello? Why is he so creepy? Can you specify where you are? I see a big container. Uh, okay. For a waste like him. What do you mean? He was already dead inside! What is going on? There, who is this guy? Can the police go faster, please? This Can, can you go faster? Of course there is. Each life is valuable. Yeah. But how exactly do you measure the value of a man? Is he going to kill himself? <laughs> what? Money no, bastard. but I literally... The, the police is going to be there in, like, one second. So please do not... Do whatever Sir, you are please, going do to it. do right now. Man, this is intense. This guy. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. There is something going on at the bottom here. I completely missed it. Go to the shoplifting. I don't want shoplifters in my town. Weird acting person. Uh huh. Police in intervention needed. Okay, well, let's go. The suspect is armed. That's not bueno. That's not good. Oh, new call. 112, what's your emergency? Yo, hello. Oh, no. Uh, get the hell off the railroad crossing. Um. 
please just get the hell out of the freaking car he's gonna die i this is not good this is not good uh wait Sir, oh my god again. this is not okay this is not good oh my lord this is not okay this is not good this is not okay oh my god this is so tense this is so tense oh no oh my god oh my yeah this is just like the first game this is very intense it has very very intense moments like that i feel so bad i feel so sad right now how did my reputation go up how is this not way down this game is so special because it really makes you feel something that's it that was the day management mode units objectives emails weather statistics districts okay well wow this goes really deep you can recruit new people for in your vehicles they got some stats going on here as well so they're better at for instance driving or at being a medic oh and they cost money so we do have to take money into account i have not seen any reserves yet oh up there duh it's right there right there rob so the weather might indicate what might happen on a day and rain might mean that your vehicles might have some problems and wind might mean that fires are more potent i'm hurrying man no worries don't you worry i'm already there that's how fast i am man but yeah up until now this is very similar to the previous game you got a piece of time you have to look after and you get these calls once in a while like one, this one, one. Two, what's your emergency hello oh, uh, I've, uh, finally reached you. oh no it's another one of these how are you my friend is are you okay is this some kind of a joke it really doesn't matter no it matters Jeez, oh no no that's not what i no that's not that's not what i meant Okay, he's dead. He killed himself. I cannot stop playing this game. This is intense. It is super cool. It ramps up kind of slow, so I feel like I really only scratched the surface of what this game has to offer. But those As phone calls and those stories, that's really, really cool. Whoa. Now we have a way bigger area, and we got so many more people. It is something different, and those phone calls are intense, but this game is really, really nice. <laughs> This is Garage Bat Trip, a top-down twin-stick shooter with pixelated graphics, and it is somehow also horror, and I like horror, so yeah, let's see what this game has to offer. I am inside of the trunk. Can I get out this trunk, please? Wow, this game is loud and bright, very bright. There we go, there is a story going on. I woke up in the trunk of a car. I had no clue what had happened. I definitely got hit in the head. Everything was blurry. Oh, blurry. This is very intense. I looked around. Something had happened, something awful. I was standing in a pool of blood. <gasps> Oh no. So the game draws inspiration from like VHS tapes from way back in the day. You can really see that with all the lines going on, on the screen. It's actually pretty nice. So you're getting some kind of... Ooh, there is something in the box. That heals me. Nice. You can find some kind of story in these pages and stuff that you come across. I'm instantly getting vibes from like Hotlines Miami or like the old GTA games like GTA 1 and 2. Ow, ow, what? What the hell? Get out of here, you freaking rat. Are you kidding me right now? Is that going to blow? Okay, yeah. Yeah, it is going to blow. Oh, I am on fire now. Oh, freaking rats. It's kind of hard to like kill the rat. You can only kick. Why are you doing so much damage to me, rat? Stupid rat. I had this feeling I'd see a corpse sooner or later. Why do you have that feeling? It looked like the poor bastard had been attacked by a grizzly bear. Yeah, probably not, man. Door's locked. I need a key. Okay. Um. Also, he, he's coming across these rats, but he thinks that that guy died by freaking a grizzly bear. Really? As I highly doubt it, man. Hello, I'm just looking for a key. What's with the footsteps? Who are you? Oh no, who are you? Jump scares, really? Cheap, cheapy jump scares. The game is cheapy, cheapy ass jump scares. There we go. Bam. And pick up the key, please. And I need med kits right yesterday. So it gets scary because of the ambience and freaking jump scares. Are you kidding me? Oh, so I can't jump around forever. Oh, stamina meters. What the hell is going on in this world, right? We have no clue what's going on yet. Ah, we have to craft a weapon. Oh, I did not see that coming at all. Okay, how does this automatically that's very nice that's very nice thank you i can't seem to get the timing right with these enemies and they do so much damage they do so much damage oh this can't be good this can't be good oh uh, he lost his legs so now okay well now it's just pop but i have no control over what i hit exactly so it's kind of random of what happens to the zombies i can't i cannot deal with both of these at the same time apparently those rat is so fast 
so fast. See, this is what I mean. Now his head fell off. It would be great to like do that on purpose or something, right? Okay, you have to be like meticulous and slow about things because if you just run and gun like I am trying to do, then you die. No, 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 no. Dude, are you kidding me? I am turning. I'm not kicking the right way. Just open this door and see how this continues. No, no, oh my god, I am, this game is difficult. Yeah, I don't really know what to think of this game. It seems very niche, both in style and genre. It's also just brutally difficult. Are you kidding me? Now we're taking drugs? What am I taking drugs for? I found a secret. <gasps> we're taking drugs to find secrets. That's pretty neat. No, not rats. Rats are literally the most annoying enemies. Also because they're so fast and your kicking is so hard to control. Like, geez, Sims. But this is weird. This part. This is very weird. Whoa, 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 whoa. Huge rats. Can I... Okay, huge rats are better than the small ones. What the hell? This is so weird. Who are you? What What are you? Why are you? That's my dad. That's what's happening. We're hallucinating with our dad, who apparently is a army veteran. Yeah, I mean, there is definitely some story going on here. I hate these rats. I hate them so much. Oh, man, this is not my thing. Why is this so weirdly difficult? Why does this continue for so long? Are we done now? Freaking hell. Finally, we got a gun. Oh, man. That part was intense. What is happening right now? I need to... This is... This is all blurred. This is all blurred out. I can't show you any of this. This game is an experience. Okay. Well, now it just got weird. That, you, now I can sh I can show you this. What? So how many bullets do I need to kill one thing? Quite a lot. It, it appears. Quite a lot. Close quarter shots do a lot more damage, it feels like. Oh, no. Okay. Well... <laughs> Creepy twin stick. Oh my lord. Very creepy twin stick shooting with really weird graphics and very, very strong rats. This game is pretty difficult if you ask me. Oh. The first bombs fell in the summer of 1988. What? It was a baptism by nuclear fire. Well, that's not good. Just because you stop looking at a clock does not mean it stays the same year all year round. You know what I mean? Where there is no menu, we're just jumped into the game right away. Jesus, double jump. Ooh, nice. There are quite a lot of pixelated games in the bundle this uh, month around. Hello. Jesus, this soundtrack is intense, and I love, but I like it. Oh my god. Okay, well, we're in we're in it now, I guess. Um, oh, I was faster than you were, my friend. Oh, and then all the doors close. This is Black Future 88, an action roguelike with procedurally generated levels where we're trying to get to the top of a tower before we die ourselves or something. It has these obvious sleek 2D graphics going on. Ah, okay, I see. So then we can just explore explore this map. With this map going on and these different items and everything. Whoa. What's this weapon? It really so makes me think that it's just a standard roguelike game. Like the one from last month. What was it called again? Warhox. Yes. This weapon is so much better. You've modified your night nail into a stronger weapon. I don't know what I did to get a modifier, but I got a modifier, so that's cool. And where is this boss fight? Whoa. Whoa. What just happened? Can I heal somehow? I feel like I'm dying. But this is where the boss fight starts, of course, now. This is where I find you. Dr. Avalanche. Not what I expected to find here. Hello, Dr. Avalanche. Well, that's a lot of bullets you're shooting at me, man. You think you're, you're so cool and stuff. Yeah, you shoot at nothing, man. That is better. That is... Whoa, what? Why the slow-mo? What, what happened with the slow-mo? Now I died because of the weird-ass slow-mo. So now this new buff can appear in the sky melt. So that's something new that we got going on. Whoa. Black Future 88. Whoa, we can choose different people we can play. I'll play with the other guy now, thank you. Enter, yes. Something that I had not noticed before is that there is a timer on the top left corner. Seriously, is there no health lying around ever, anywhere? I mean, come on, I'm going to need some. Okay, well, we open the door to the boss again, so let's go. I only have a sword. I am literally out of ammo. This is not good. What the hell are you? I died. Sure shot can now appear. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So yeah, I gotta say the soundtrack is really nice The graphics are really nice. The controls work very well It's just very much a roguelite game. If you don't like those, you're not gonna like this I'm trying to figure out what this game makes so special in comparison to for instance that other roguelite game We had in the other month. Wow, there's a lot of lights going on. I can't see anything. I need to switch weapons What's this? Repair station? Am I repairing myself? Ooh, an upgrade! Yes! Damn, that's what we want. Reach inside of this weird-ass portal? What is this? Touch the obelisk. Cost 60 seconds. Okay, well, fine. <gasps> Another upgrade. A cursed upgrade. Oh, no. You dash through the walls and do damage 
to enemies. Give me this. Wow. Oh my god. Um, who are you? Why are you? Ow. I died again? Dang it. Oh man, things were going so well. You were exploded to death. Yeah, thank you. Well, that's the loop. You're trying to get as far as possible this way. And the rogue light element comes in where you can find more stuff the higher level you are. You can find more and better upgrades and weapons lying around. This is really nice. The soundtrack is really good. I'm curious if you get higher on the tower, if the level design is going to change a little bit. I kind of expect that it would, but I haven't been higher than level 2 yet, which is also kind of the point because the game is, as you would expect from these type of games, difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. I'm gonna die again. Bam, there we are again with the train, and that's the loop. That's that's what you do. Ammo pack, please. Oh, you can only use the dash twice before it has to recharge. You can see that in the little pips in the left corner of the screen. There we go. Like a pro master man person. Bam, bam. We open it up again. There we go. It would be nice to find some more ammo, because I'm almost out of ammo again. Hey, shot. Hello. I will buy your ammo. Thank you very much. There we go. Now it's time for the boss fight of the century. Oh, it's Dr. Avalanche again. I'm out of freaking ammo again. I died again. Merciful release, huh? Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard roguelike game. Not really doing anything special for the genre, but made special by the presentation and the soundtrack, which is phenomenal. So yeah, if you like this type of game and you like this vibe, then yeah, absolutely go for it. But as always with these games, expect it to be a challenge. Nice. Last one. This is John Wick Hex, an action strategy game based on the movie franchise of John Wick. Of course, played by Keanu Reeves. Here, though, we step into the world of the Baba Yaga. So let's see what the game has to offer for us, huh? Some time ago, before Helen. There he is. This really seems to broaden the world of the movie franchise. And I personally really like John Wick. Here we are. So it seems we're manipulating time with this timeline up here. Once we finish an action or when we're interrupted, the game will pause. So there is somebody there. And we take him out. Whoa, so many options. We can throw our gun and we can shoot him. To shoot him. Okay, so the objective is just to get to the exit per level. Here we go. I threw my gun at him. This is weird. Let's strike him. I can take him down. Let's take him down. See what happens. Bam. Oh my lord, yes. Can I grab my gun again? I'm not very sure yet how this whole timeline situation works, but uh, let's shoot this guy and shoot him too. This is something. Watch replay. You can watch a replay too. That is cool. Ooh, and then there's a map. We're in Chinatown and we're going there. Your ammo is low. Shit, that's something we have to pay attention to. Move your ass, man. The fact that it pauses, it kind of makes me think of super hot. And I like it. This is not what I imagined with this game at all. It is super interesting. Bandages are also finite. That's never positive, is it? Shoot that guy. Oh, shit. There's another person right there. Maybe use those bandages, man. Okay, cr crouching should help. Open that door. Ooh, oh, ooh. I like it. That's pretty cool. This is not good. I have to reload. This is not positive. This is not good. This is not good at all. Um, Yeah, so time only moves when we move. That's quite interesting if you ask me. Man, we have to manage all this stuff. Now our health is low too. We're never going to make it this way. So it's kind of a management game where we're trying to manage our focus, our health and our ammunition. Then where? Where is it coming from? Oh, he's right over there. Okay, shoot him, please. That's what the timeline means. A second timeline will appear once an enemy appears. So you can see when they can do something and what they're doing. So you can adjust accordingly. You can also see if you're going to do something faster or slower than they are. Like here, where I was clearly faster. Shoot that guy. Shoot this guy too. He's going to shoot me first and then I can shoot him. I have to be very concentrated for this, but... I am enjoying this. It's very tactical. Shoot that guy, please. There we go. Pick up the weapon. There we go. With a move. Got a heal. Very good that I saw that on time. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm going to shoot first. And he's going to shoot first. He's going to shoot first. He's going to get one shot in. There we go. Do a takedown on this guy. There we go. Bam. And then we can grab his weapon. Amazing. This is really cool. Is this a boss fight? Oh, no. Oh, no. Zero percent. Why did I even try? Uh, I feel that I'm not ready yet for a boss fight, to be honest. Pick up that weapon. I'm seriously going to need another weapon. Now he's going to shoot me before he okay that i might not survive that i need to heal i don't have any bandages what are you even talking about how much health does this he's dead i did it i killed the boss man <gasps> yes nice this is so different from what i expected but it is really really cool man and then there is another mission track oh you can have little upgrades going on with these coins unspent coins are not saved that's good to know okay hello room surf excuse me shoot that guy too they seem to be using
using the same actors for the voices, which is really nice. Other than that, it's a very, very strategic game where you can be John Wick in all of his glory, throwing guns at people, grabbing their guns, shooting people, holding them. The graphics are not the prettiest, but they're going for this comic booky style. Hello? Anybody here? It's okay if you say no. Shoot you. Do a takedown on that guy. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Move in position to this guy, then do a takedown on him too. Bam, there we go. Not gonna use all my ammo on these guys, because we do not have to. Shoot this guy, please. Oh, no, he's going to shoot first. Dang it. Uh, we already have to switch weapons. No, you are a brawler, and I'm going to shoot you. But this is an interesting game where you try to plan out your badassness, and I like it. This is the end of this month's Humble Choice First Look Extravaganza. Is there anything that you really liked or thought that really, really sucked? Please let me know in the comments down below and if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and join the cubicle and i will see you all in the next video bye definitely amnesia rebirth i will probably play that on a stream or something but that 112 operator was just really really good as well and i've just got so much more to play oh dang there is just so much to play oh.